everyone! Today I'm going to be making a falafel recipe. I hope you enjoy, so let me get started. I'm going to start off with a chopped onion and some fresh chopped cilantro. I have some fresh parsley that I'm going to break up into smaller pieces. I'm going to now add in some pepper, some cumin, some salt, some cayenne pepper, some lemon juice, some baking soda and some olive oil. Chop up some garlic. Once I have the garlic chopped finely, I'm going to add it in with the ingredients I put in so far and then I'm going to blend those all together. We're now going to add in the chickpeas and we're going to blend that in with the existing ingredients that we put in so far. Now, you can use chickpeas in a can that have been pre-soaked. You can use dry uh, chickpeas. You're gonna have to soak them for about eight hours. Some people have done them for about 24 hours, so they're nice and firm. So I have soaked mine, and now I'm just making sure that they're dry enough uh, for when I need to put them into the ingredients. So we're gonna put some chickpeas in and then we're gonna start mixing it in with the existing, existing ingredients and we're gonna gradually add in more chickpeas until we get a nice texture. Now that I have all the ingredients put inside of my bowl, I have blended them all together nicely. I've made a nice texture. I made sure that all the ingredients was broken down at the same texture and they're now ready to mold and we're gonna bake them in the oven. Now, if you find that your falafel uh, mixture is too watery, you can add a bit of flour into the ingredients to help you mold them better. So I'm going to preheat my oven around 450, and then I'm going to bake them in the oven, and I'll show you what they look like next. I've been baking my falafel patties in the oven, and they're now nicely baked throughout the falafel. So now I'm gonna finish them off by lightly pan frying them so that we can get that nice golden finish on all of the falafels. So I'm going to wait until my heat of my oil is at a nice temperature and then I'm going to pan fry them and I'll show you what they look like. Now that my pan with the oil is nicely heated, I'm going to start adding in some of my falafels. I'm going to make sure that the oil is nicely even throughout the base so that nothing burns. And then once we have both sides nicely coated, they're all ready. Now I've also prepared some garnishes for the falafels. I've made a homemade falafel sauce, which you can find on our channel on how to make that step by step. I have some nice fresh spinach, some nice cherry tomatoes, red onions, and some nice bread that we can eat them with. If you like this recipe and you want to see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that share, like, and that bell notification. 